hymn this morning is number three. Number three. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord, and and enter enter into into his peace. peace. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us listen listen to the voice voice of the the Lord, Lord, and enter enter into into his peace. peace. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let, let us, us listen, listen to the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter into his peace. peace. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us let listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter into his peace. peace. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah. As on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us listen, listen to, to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter, enter into his peace. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord and enter, enter into his peace. peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let Let us us listen listen to the voice of the Lord, and enter enter into his peace. peace. To God with gladness sing, your Your rock and and Saviour bless. Within Within your temple bring bring your songs songs of thankfulness. O God, God of might, to you we sing, enthroned in King on heaven's height. He cradles in his hand the heights and and depths of earth. He made the the sea and land, he brought the world to birth. O God most high, we are your sheep, on us you keep your shepherd's eye. Your heavenly Father, praise, acclaim his only Son. Your voice in homage raise, to him him who makes makes all one. one. O O dove dove of peace on us descend, that strife may end and and joy increase. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning and and your truth truth in the watches of the night. night. It is good to make, give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth to the watches of the night on the ten-string lyre and the lute with the mumbling sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil cry. They are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, God, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears hear gladly of the fall. The just will flourish like a palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end of mine. Lord, Lord, we we proclaim proclaim your love love in the the morning. morning, and your your troops in the the watches of the night.
Proclaim the greatness of our, our God. God. Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words on my lips. May my teaching fall like a rain, my speech descend like the dew, like raindrops on the young green, like showers falling on the grass. For I shall praise the name of the Lord, or give glory to this God of ours. The rock his deeds are perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, a God who is right and just. Those who meet with God unblemished have become crooked, false, perverse. Is it thus you pray the Lord, O senseless and foolish people? Is he not your Father who created you, he who made you, on whom you depend? Remember the days of old, consider the years that are past. Ask your Father and he will show you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their heritage, and dispose men according to his plan. In fixing the boundaries of the nations, he thought first of Israel's sons. For Israel was the Lord's possession, Jacob the one he had chosen. God found him in a wilderness, in fearful desolate wastes. He surrounded him, he lifted him up. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that watches its nest, that hovers over its young, so he spread his wings. He took him, placed him on his outstretched wings. The Lord alone was his guide, and no other God was with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Proclaim the greatness of our God. God. How great is your name, Lord, through all Draw the earth. It. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you've made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them shoot him cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the years. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. How great, great is your name, name O Lord, Lord, through, through all, all the years. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Lord, guide our feet into, into the, the way of, of peace. peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He sought Abraham our father to grant us, not free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. 
He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord guide, guide our feet, feet into, into the way, way of, of peace. peace. God the Father has adopted us as brothers of his only Son, and through the ages has stayed with us and kept us in his love. Let us ask him for the needs of the world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray for all who plan and build in our cities. Give them respect for every human value. Lord, help us as we work. Pour out your spirit on artists, craftsmen, and musicians. May their work be, bring variety, joy, and inspiration to our lives. Lord, help us as we work. Be with us as the cornerstone of all that we build, for we can do nothing well without your aid. Lord, help us as we work. You have created us and you in the resurrection of your Son. Give us the strength to create a new life and a new world. Lord, help us as we work. Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us praise you, Lord, with voice and mind and deed, and since life itself is your gift, may all we have and are be yours. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us obey the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, we thank you, you for every, every priest, priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open their hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Adam's family, Colette Dalton and Peggy Dorman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Samuel. David returned from his route of the Amal case and spent two days in Zillah. On the third day, a man came from the camp where Saul had been, his garments torn and earth on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground and did homage. Where do you come from? David asked him. I have escaped from the Israelite camp, he said. David said to him, what happened? Tell me. He replied, the people have fled from the battlefield and many of them have fallen. Saul and his son Jonathan are dead too. Then David took hold of his garments and tore them and all the men did the same. They mourned and wept and fasted until the evening for Saul and his son Jonathan for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they have fallen by the sword. Then David made this lament over Saul and his son Jonathan. Alas, the glory of Israel has been slain on your heights. How did the heroes fall? Saul and Jonathan, loved and lovely, neither in life nor in death were divided. Swifter than eagles were they, stronger were they than lions. O daughters of Israel, weep for Saul, who clothed thee in scarlet and fine linen, who set brooches of gold on your garments. How did the heroes fall in the thick of the battle? O Jonathan, in your death I am stricken. I am desolate for you, Jonathan, my brother. Very dear to me you were. Your love to me more wonderful than the love of a woman. How did the heroes fall and the battle armour fail? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your face shine on us, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let your, Let face, your face shine, shine on, on us, O Lord, Lord, and we, we shall, shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. Let, Let your, your face shine on us, O Lord, Lord, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us to taunt of our neighbours and enemies laugh us to scorn. Let, Let your face shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open our hearts, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went home and such a crowd collected that they could not even have a meal. 
When his relatives heard of this, they set out to take charge of him, convinced he was out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. It is clear that many of his hearers were puzzled by Jesus. A question keeps being asked, who is this man? Even his own relatives did not understand what he was about. When Jesus' workload grew so heavy as to leave him no time for food and drink, his relatives thought he was out of his mind. They would soon learn that he was not theirs to command. The only one to whom Jesus gave full obedience was his heavenly Father. Jesus was sent to do a special work for the human race, to form them into a great family of disciples, of brothers and sisters, sons and daughters of God. His natural family, his relatives from Nazareth, had to come to terms with that. We are all part of that new family of faith, the fruit of Jesus' work. And even for you, the question, who is this man, remains a fruitful one. We can always grow in our knowledge of the one whose brothers and sisters we have become. Let us pray. Father, forgive and heal our hurts and differences. Give us courage to acknowledge our own failures and to forgive others theirs. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, true, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your way through whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dispassion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Marco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant to pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through her intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. 
Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, bear in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. That we may always be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life. That we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties. That we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin. Is in misunderstandings with those we love. In times of sickness in the home. In worries about financial matters. That we and our young people may find our true vocation in life. That all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol. That those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all. That we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor. That the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human level be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father Pope Francis may have light and guidance in ruling the church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our deceased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena. And for our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when filled with faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the fruit of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who employ her mother help, benefit by the gift of salvation, to Christ our Lord. Amen. You have given your people bread from heaven the bread which is full of all goodness. Let us pray, O God, who in this wonderful sacrament 
have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph as spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince and Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Host, Guardian of souls, vanquish our rebel spirits, servant in the house of the Divine King, an admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and supernatural virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. <laughs> 